the sextant is the primary instrument in celestial navigation. It is used to measure the altitude of a heavenly body, the sun, moon, selected stars, and selected planets above the visible horizon. Sextant altitude is corrected for various factors to determine the body's true or corrected altitude above the celestial horizon. Here are some procedures commonly used to take sights with a marine sextant. It will always be necessary to find any index error prior to taking sights. Refer to the next pages to find index error. Set the sextant arm and micrometer drum to read 0 degree and 0 minute. Aim the sextant to the horizon where you can see also the reflected horizon at the right side of the horizon glass. Use the following step action table for the general steps to take sights on the Sun and the Moon. The steps for stars and planets are basically the same, except you would omit steps 2 and 4. Ooh. Set shade filters in place now to prevent eye burns. Hold the sextant, level the sight with the horizon, the other hand fingers holding the back of micrometer drum and supporting the sextant. Aim the sextant to a point on the horizon directly below the sun. Rock the sextant. Swing the arc or the lower part of the sextant left to right then right to left to determine if your sextant is perpendicular to the horizon. You will see the reflected image of the sun arc back and forth. The lowest position of the body during sextant swinging means it is the sextant's perpendicular position. Take the exact time when the body is tangent to the horizon. But give the recorder a standby to mark, marking the time in GMT or UTC. Continue swinging the arc while turning the micrometer drum slightly until the lower limb of the sun touches the horizon. At that moment, mark the exact time of the sight and record the sextant altitude. From this data, you will be using the nautical almanac that will be used for your computations.